What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining me once again. This is another installment of Hockey's Quick Beer Reviews and yes, today we're drinking Schlitz. Uh, it's unmistakable. It's old school American beer. This is Schlitz. That's all it is. It's just Schlitz. Not ice, not malt, malt, not malt liquor, just Schlitz. And yes, this is a regular review. This is not a foul beer review. I'm reviewing this straight up because I've never had regular Schlitz beer. Schlitz, the beer that made Milwaukee famous. That's their catchphrase. Um, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm bothering to drink, much less review Schlitz beer. Um, I'll tell you why. I, I came across it online, Beer Advocate and a couple other websites, and for what it is, for an American adjunct lager, it's, it's you know, it's, it's well received and highly rated for what it is. Um, the thing is, Schlitz, and this is kind of why I ended up with this, Schlitz in the last year or so has changed their formula. They went back and apparently um, the original recipe was lost. Uh, Schlitz now is owned by Pabst. Schlitz in itself doesn't exist anymore as a brewery. It's just a brand now. Uh, Pabst they don't even brew their own beers, they own the names, but their beers are brewed by Miller, so it's actually a contract brewed by Miller. But Pabst, which owns Schlitz, had to go back and dig through old documents, and their brewmaster apparently went back and interviewed former employees and brewers with Schlitz to recreate the 1960s recipe for Schlitz beer. It's been re-released, now it's called Schlitz Gusto, and it, uh, unfortunately I found out after I bought this, the new recipe hasn't made it down to South Florida yet and they only come in bottles apparently so there's the Schlitz Gusto recipe and the old regular Schlitz which was apparently watered down in the 70s 80s but uh, the regular watered down Schlitz is still highly rated and the Gusto version is even uh, more well received so I said screw it this six pack cost me like 360 so I'm not going to complain um, you know, beer is beer, and I'm hoping that it's not as bad as its counterparts, um, you know, the Buds and Millers, or at the very least it's on par. Um, you know, but I'm not too worried about drinking this after some of the foul beers, you know, the malt liquors and the Beast Ice and even the Heineken. You know, drinking this just doesn't really worry me anymore. But anyways, this is Schlitz. Uh, at one time... Uh, earlier this century, this was the most popular beer in the United States. Schlitz has history. Schlitz is a classic American beer. And I figure, what the hell. I've had Schlitz ice. Matter of fact, one of the first times I got wasted with my with my friends, uh, at like a, um, somebody's birthday or something, I was like 14 or something like that, was Schlitz ice. And as I'm sure some of you already know, I've repeated it several times through the bad beer reviews, um, I used to drink a lot of Schlitz malt liquor. So, what the hell, man? I got love for Schlitz. Um, punching it up on Beer Advocate. Schlitz in a can. Good old Schlitz. The beer that made Milwaukee famous. Gets a C plus out of 282 reviews. The bros give it a B minus. It is an American adjunct lager at 4.6 ABV. And uh, Schlitz Gusto. Another thing, I, eventually I do want to pick up the Schlitz Gusto when I come across it. And I do want to have the point of reference having tried the original. So, you know, keep an eye out. Eventually, when I come across that, maybe it's up in the Treasure Coast area. Maybe I'll have better luck finding the Gusto uh, version once I move. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. But, enough talking. Let's break out a can of Schlitz. Schlitz, just the kiss of the hops. There are the little slogan. And uh, that's about it. The can doesn't say much else. Don't know what else there really is to say. So, standard pint glass here. And let's drink us some Schlitz. No surprise there. This is a very, very light, clear, pale color. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, guys. They say that this is good, but I'm not expecting miracles. It's still an adjunct lager and a cheap one at that. But you know, yeah, man, pale straw. Pale straw and clearer than fresh water. But, uh, you know, 
the head's fizzy. That's my new thing now. When cheap beers like this, just put your ear to it because it's just like Coca-Cola head. Pop, fizz, pop, fizz. Just, you know, it'll fizz away in a few. But yeah, me, I mean, I don't think you're going to be surprised here. Um, there's some active carbonation, but not a whole lot. So, I mean, I, I've seen worse, so hopefully it won't be overly carbonated or disgustingly carbonated. I don't know. Hmm. So I had the lemon in there. But yeah, it's your lager yeast. It does kind of smell like there's a kiss of hops in there, along with some pale malt. I'm not getting a very strong adjunct smell. I, I can detect a little bit of corn. Adjuncty, veggie, corn flavor. But it's very light. Just light grain. Very, very light hops. I mean, for what it is, it's, it, it's a decent, normal smell. And, of course, the head's receded away. But, uh, let's give it a try. Schlitz. Here's to America. I'll be damned. This is smooth. It's smooth in an almost tasteless way. You get carbonation up front, and yes, it's thin, but it has a, a kind of, it has a light body, and it, 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 it becomes a little richer. The carbonation helps make it a little richer, a little fluffier, so it adds to the body. And as you drink that and you swallow that, there's really not much else. Very crisp, clean, slightly bitter finish. No, no nasty aftertaste, no adjunct taste, no corn. Now I understand. Yes, it's an adjunct, an adjunct lager. Yes, there's no outstanding flavor. Yes, it's water. Yes, it looks like urine. But if you're just going to down a beer, I mean, I, I got to admit, guys, out of all the adjunct lagers I've been, I've been drinking quite a few lately, between the foul beers, you know, the, the malt liquors and the the uh, the Hispanic beers, uh, you know, Caribbean, South American beers, I've, I've done a couple of those. And, I mean, add all that up, and this is probably the smoothest one. This is nice. There's nothing off-putting. There's nothing strong. There's nothing offensive. There's nothing that you won't like. It's fizzy beer water, but it's not unpleasant. Unlike the, the Tonya, which was fizzy beer water, but unpleasant fizzy beer water. This, if you drink this cold, I could put down all six of these quick if I was, you know, hot and sweaty. And I'd probably enjoy it. So, guys, I'm going to tell you what. For an adjunct lager. For a beer that is shoulder to shoulder with Budweiser, Miller High Life, and all those other beers. You know, Old Milwaukee and Pabst Blue Ribbon. For a beer that is neck and neck with all of those guys, I'll take this. I'll take this. And I've had all those beers. I've, you know, had a lot of Buds and Millers and Bud Lights and Coors in my day, and I'll tell you straight up, I'll take this. It's very plain, it's very simple, it's very inoffensive, but it's the simple beauty of it. So if this is the watered down Schlitz, I can't wait to taste the gusto. It's still an adjunct lager, but there is no overpowering corn or adjunct taste in this. I like it. I like it. Schlitz, guys. Strong glass half full for an adjunct lager. Try it for yourself. You're only losing a few bucks. And let me know what you think. Cheers.